Hey, Doug Henshin and Constellation Research here at the Teradata Possible event in Los Angeles where the keynote is uh, just wrapping up. They made two big announcements, a bring your own large language model offering that'll bring hugging face models into the Teradata platform and also an NVIDIA partnership that will make GPU processing capacity available for Gen AI initiatives. Here's a closer look. Teradata's announcements were first mentioned by CEO Steve McMillan during his keynote address. McMillan highlighted the company's shift during his four-year tenure to becoming a cloud-first software company with platform-as-a-service offerings on AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. The company now has more than $500 million in annually recurring cloud revenue, about one-third of its total revenue. Teradata has extended its long available bring your own model option for in database processing of conventional AI and machine learning models to small language models and other types of small models suitable for Gen AI. The new bring your own LLM option will enable customers to run small and mid sized models in platform on Teradata using container services. The emphasis is on open source options that can run on Teradata using conventional CPU processing power at much lower cost than large model alternatives. The third option of tapping into model endpoints using APIs is for those truly large models that might require GPU acceleration. Teradata rivals like Snowflake and Databricks have already introduced their own comparatively tiny model libraries. But rather than take a Me Too approach, Teradata has focused on working with Hugging Face, which gives customers more than 300,000 model options. To my mind, this should be called a bring your own XLM offering because the in-platform option is best suited to small and mid-sized models and to any model type, including audio, video, and other options, not just to language models. Teradata has already curated a list of about a dozen small open source models that have proven to run cost effectively on its platform and that are tied to a growing list of use case specific solutions harnessing Gen AI. The first four use case specific Gen AI solutions that Teradata has introduced address customer complaint analysis, regulatory compliance, product recommendations, and healthcare doctor note analysis all of which take advantage of Gen AI's strengths, such as text summarization and sentiment analysis. These four initial solutions include model recommendations and workflows combining Gen AI and more conventional analyses supported by the Teradata ClearScape portfolio. The good news is that Teradata is promising more of these solutions and additional supporting content, such as solution blueprints, code scripts, and best practices documentation. Teradata's new partnership with NVIDIA will bring a GPU acceleration option to Teradata Vantage Cloud Lake, starting on AWS in November and expected to extend to Azure and Google Cloud during the first half of 2025. GPU acceleration is a must-have capability for working with the largest of large models, so this is an option that Teradata simply had to add. Apparently customers agree as I heard a hearty round of applause for this announcement at Teradata Possible LA. To sum up, Teradata's announcement at the Possible LA event will bring customers flexible model and processing options and new fast start Gen AI solutions. As a next step, we'd like to see programmatic integration between Hugging Face and Teradata ClearScape, eliminating manual model loading steps. We're also eager to see more solutions, deeper solution support, and GPU acceleration on all three major public clouds. This is Doug Henshin signing off from Teradata Possible LA.